hope you're well. So for today's video, I thought I'd do a get ready with me while I just have a chat because I feel like I've not done this for so long and there's just so much to catch you up on. So later on, I'm heading out with Danielle to this like, um, I don't know how to describe it. There's just this like vent on and then you can do like pumpkin picking. There's like a maze, there's food, there's music. Um, there's loads of different things and yeah, so I'm about to get ready for that. So yeah, let's just get straight onto the video and I'll start my makeup. I mean, before I do any type of makeup, I always move my hair out of the way. I don't know how people put makeup on without getting the hair out of the face. Uh, I'm actually going to use this moisturiser. It's from Wilkinson's, and I'm pretty sure it's Wilkinson's own brand. It's called Skin Therapy, and it's a sensitive skin daily moisturiser. And I bought a majority of their range. Well, like a, yeah, I think it wasn't a lot of their range um, the other day when I went in. I've, I went in to look at the skincare, but I didn't know this existed. And the first thing that caught my eye was that it was vegan, so I was like, yes, get in. And then it was so affordable. So I got a, the moisturiser, the toner, the cleanser, the face scrub, and I think that was it. No, I am one or two pound, and that is incredible. So that's what I've been using at the moment, so it's affordable and it's vegan. So I was like, ticks the boxes I need, and sensitive skin. And a lot of them don't have, uh, a lot of them are fragrance free, which is good. So, so far I'm impressed. They had uh, like an eye one as well, but I didn't buy it. But next time I go back into Wilkinson's, I'm going to pick it up because I did have, well, I thought I had a uh, product for under eyes, but I had to run out. The only thing they didn't have, which I really wanted, was an SPF. Because I know how it's important to wear an SPF. I just don't have one. And I feel like they're quite expensive, so I'm looking for like an affordable one. So if anyone knows of any, please let me know. I don't know if anyone else has the same problem as me, but my hair falls out all the time and it's everywhere. Like literally, it's in this bag right now. Like, I hate, I hate hair and I hate finding my own hair everywhere. I know I need a haircut and I feel like, <laughs> I mean to help myself, probably just have sh short hair. Um, I just want to shave it all off because it's so annoying. Um, but I'm hoping once I have a haircut, it might help with preventing from hair falling out. Uh, I've not had a haircut in so long, so I need to get around to doing that at some point. But I'll just put it off. The foundation that I'm using is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. In what shades? In medium. Oh no, <laughs> medium. F three. It's a medium to full coverage. And I'm just using the Real Techniques brush because I've actually can't. I can't. I don't know where I left my uh, beauty blender. I'm not my sponge. So I nipped out to the shops before and basically where I live, um, there's been roadworks at the end of the road for li literally since I moved in, which was um, like last September. So I've been here for just over a year and majority of that time, there's been, the roadworks have been happening. They went for like, a, like maybe like a few weeks, like one or two weeks, and then they came back again, which means that I could never... It, it meant that like my road, if you were, if if I wanted to park outside my house, I would have to like come down, but then turn around because I wouldn't be able to um, exit. And it was just annoying because I'd normally have to, you know, park all the way down the street or a different road. Um, or like sometimes if I came down, but I didn't turn my car around then and just parked up, so the face my car was facing the roadworks. Um, I would have to reverse my car back down the road for me to then turn around um, at like a, the next road, if that makes sense. Basically, it was an absolute ball lake. This is someone else's side. It was an absolute ball lake. And the road is now open again, which I'm so happy about. But I went to the shop and because I'm so used to... Um, what's that person doing? Because I was so... Because... That person's really put me off because I was so used to, um, you know, coming a certain way back to the house. I did it again today, forgetting that the road was now, ooh, that the road was now open. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna do that a lot of times. To be fair, it'll take me a while probably, but I'm so happy. It just makes my life so much easier. But practice my reversing. You know, you gotta always look at the silver lining. So now I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in C1. Oh, like C1 is in like concealer and F3 for like foundation. Ah, never noticed that until now. 
So I am now back at uni. I've been back, well, uni started like towards the end of September. So I've been back for like around a month now. Being online is very, very different to um, being on campus and, you know, face-to-face -face lectures. Depending what mood I'm in, depends if I enjoy it. Um, I do, uh, well, in a way I feel very disconnected from the uni and, you know, at times I just feel like I'm just floating around and I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm just winging it. Because you don't have that connection compared to if you're in person and face to face. You know, it does have its benefits of, oh, you can just roll out of bed, you know, or you don't even have to roll out of bed. You can literally just get your laptop minutes before the lecture starts. You know, you don't have to get ready or anything. So that's great. You know, it has its benefits in that way, you can say. Um, it's probably time saving. Yeah, because you have to actually go on campus. But I try not to do lectures in bed just because I don't, I want to get, basically sit at my desk instead sometimes I have done my lectures in bed sometimes depending on how tired I am um so it has you know it gives you leeway also your lectures are recorded so you can look back on them which I guess is a good benefit but you do not want to get into the mentality of oh I'll just watch it later because you most likely won't <laughs> or you won't want to anyway what I try and do is sit at my desk, um, just so then I'm more, you know, I just feel more, it's more of a, it's closer to the environment of being at uni and, you know, sat at a table compared to laying in bed. But when I talk to a lot of people about, you know, uni and online, it's a common theme that they're not enjoying it. I think it's also harder because like some assessments, especially for my modules, have been changed because of COVID and it's, you know, it's kind of getting used to that and the different ways of like learning and different ways that teachers are having to teach. Yeah, uni's hard, but you just gotta get on with it really. <laughs> A piece of advice I would give if you're at uni currently and maybe you're struggling to, you know, it's always been online, you're not really socialising that much, is to join a society because me being part of Staffs TV and the Vegan and Veg Society help me out so much i couldn't imagine being at university right now and not being part of one because it's the only time of the week to actually go out and socialize with people i feel like a lot of people feel like that it's the only chance that you actually get in the week to go out and <laughs> interact with people face to face which is so nice and because it's a society that you've joined you're obviously interested in that and you socialize with people that have similar interests to you which is obviously amazing about staff tv and vegan veg society I don't think I want to cope as well. So in Stoke, since yesterday, we have now gone into tier two, which when I found, first found out about it, I was pretty devastated. I did briefly mention about it in my weekly vlog that went up last week. And, you know, it's hard. I said, you know, I said in the video, I understand why they do it, but at the same time, it does, it does have an impact and it can be hard. But you've just got to get through it and try and look at the positives as much as you can, really. I think it's very easy to feel lonely in these situations. And you just got to find what works for you to not feel lonely. I was always someone that loved spending time by themselves. I would spend so long by myself and it never bothered me at all. You know, if I could think back to first year, I would spend so many evenings, so many, like, days just by myself and it didn't bother me at all and I didn't think about it and you know but more recently I don't know I just haven't liked the thought of spending time by myself I feel like you know I'm always wanting to be around someone and the thought like every now and again I'll be like oh yeah I'm you know I can't wait to spend this whole day day by myself but majority of the time I'm like right who am I going to spend time with next like you know but when I am by myself I don't know why I feel like this more recently. I don't know if it's a good thing, if it's a bad thing. Um, but, I, but I am enjoying my own company more again, which is nice. And I think I could happily spend the whole weekend by myself. And I do look forward to days when I don't have to, you know, 
do anything or like see anyone. Something that I noticed about um, university being online is that obviously you, you don't really talk to anyone. So when I had a lecture um, in person last Friday, I felt like anxious just being there and I was like, oh my God, like I'm not seeing these people since like March. Um, you know, I'm not socialized with like people from university like in the course and stuff like that. And it just felt really weird. I didn't really enjoy it. I got into it more, you know, the longer the lecture went on. But yeah, it was weird. You know, you're only really talking to people that you would talk to, which is your friends and family. I guess I kind of just got used to that. Something else I am currently struggling with. I just feel like I'm just talking about all my problems. Is um trying to balance everything. And I've always, every year at university, I've always struggled with this. And it's not got easier. And that's like balancing uni, you know, uni work, social life, time to just rest and do nothing, YouTube, um, like just some different aspects of my life. Trying to balance that equally can be hard. And I feel like the main thing that you need to do to be able to balance that as well as you can is planning. Because if not, while you're not going to really fully acknowledge which you want you do more until afterwards, and you're like, oh no, I've literally spent this long um, maybe socialising, oh, I'm behind on work, or oh my god, I've been working for so long, I suddenly just feel lonely, or you know, stuff like that. So I'd definitely say that planning is key, and you can kind of maybe if you map, if you map your week out, and you can add all these different areas into it. So you can keep track of it. I love to plan, so I enjoy that. Something that happened yesterday was that the clocks went back and for me, I hate when it gets darker early. I just don't like it. I always dread it and it comes around. And once it's here, I'm not too bad with it. You know, you just get on with it. But the thought of it and the approach, it's always so horrible. But I guess I've just got to look at the positives and try and look at it, you know, oh cozy nights and you know i'm like in, inside majority of the time anyway so it's just like nice and cozy just try not to dwell on it because something like that you can never you know control you can't control what time goes dark at so you just gotta you know live with it and you know try and see the benefits something exciting is coming up though and that is my birthday which i am excited for obviously i don't really know what i'll be doing because um, wow, well, can you ever plan anything nowadays with all these restrictions? No, but I'm away. I'm excited. It is my 21st, so it's like my big birthday. Um, God, I've got less than a month for being 20 until I'm officially, officially an adult, which is, um, scary of course <laughs> i should be an adult i've currently got planned to go um away with some friends for the weekend which hopefully goes ahead um because i'm so excited for that really can't wait and then my birthday weekend i will go home and spend it with my family so that'd be nice and yeah that's what i've got planned i feel like times like this you realize that you know what as long as i can i say as long as i can spend with friends and family then you know that's all that matters but We'll see about that. Going back to um, balancing like life and you know all your different areas, I would hope to say I'm doing well. But I, I am gonna say I'm quite proud that I've been able to keep up so far um, YouTube and still uploading twice a week. Cause planning sometimes does, planning, filming and editing, it all takes up time. Um, so hopefully I can keep up with it and to do it you know while these months get busier with work and deadlines hopefully i can keep it up because i'd love to um because i really do enjoy making videos so that is my aim i want to keep two videos a week but obviously you know deadlines and uni work is going to be the priority i spend too much money for it not to be the priority <laughs> something i have considered recently is getting a part-time job because for some reason I'm struggling to manage money and the past two years I feel like I've never struggled with that 
but I just am more at the moment. I don't know if I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. So am I socialising more? Am I buying more food? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I feel like if I've got a job, something else is going to slip. YouTube's going to slip. Uni work's going to slip. Um, I will not, never socialise, ever. I won't sleep, <laughs> ever. <laughs> something will have to slip because right now, I feel like I'm just about there, balance of them all. So I'm going to settle the makeup with the Revolution Glass Shimmer Fix. Yeah, iridescent fixing spray. It's got like glitter to it. This guy's come out of his house so many times and he just goes, like he's looking for someone and then just goes back in. So I have no idea who he's looking for. Is it me you're looking for? went in back inside so I did as a new heart breaking stuff and for mascara my favourite mascara the Smashbox super fan fanned out mascara absolutely love this I'm quite happy with this makeup look today so there we are this is the final look I actually really like it I mean I always do my makeup literally exactly the same the only thing that I ever change up is eyeshadow and today I just use, use my bronzer but I really like it for some reason I think it's gone well I feel like the natural lighting really helps when you just use because there's, there's a big window behind you so I feel like when you use good natural lighting it really helps so yeah oh I like that so yeah thank you so much for watching this video please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all right soon goodbye